then, like, they were all in the bathroom. Mm-hmm. That's what happened when I went there. Yeah, they were all in the bathroom, and then, like, they're like, we're all in here. And then as soon as I came in there, like, they, like, Amber won't even look at me. And Janique is acting all weird, too, because they, they're, like, best friends now. Mm-hmm. Um, hmm. What did you say to Amber? I didn't say anything to Amber. Swear? Swear on my life. That's what I was just going to ask you about. What? Did she have something to do with it? I'm not speaking it, on anyone I swear, else's behalf. I swear on my life, I'm not, I swear on my life. I swear on my feelings for you, I would not, I won't bring it up to her. I just want to know that so that in this week I won't be buddy-buddy with her. I mean, I'm not going to go through and be like, hey, you know, I'm going to miss you and stuff like that. I just want to well, know. Well, even if she did say anything, it's not like she, you know, doesn't care about you and doesn't I know she like does. you. I know, I know. Well, then don't act different. It doesn't matter. Okay. I don't know. You don't want to be put in a precarious situation. I <laughs> know you gotta. Sorry. You're freaking out more than I am. I'm not freaking out. You are a super freak. No, but honestly, honestly, I, I care about you a lot, you know? And, uh, you'll hear it in my speech a little bit. Be prepared. I'll put you on the spot, girl. You ever have a man confess his feelings for you on live television? You're a dork. Five donkey punches. Think I will or won't? I'll forget to hit you. I'll hit you. I'll hit you. I mean, you know, if you really want to make this deal, because by the time you move out to Minnesota, I'll deliver them for you. $6,800 I'll be making, so think on that for the night. This right here, what, what I'm feeling for you, is my real life, okay? You know what? I mean, and with all the money I'll be making, I can be your sugar daddy. Don't stress, okay? I don't want you, like, trying to help me either. It's all, it's all good. Whatever happens, happens, all right? I want to hang out with you for the next three days. Sorry, two and a half. And uh, just chill, if that's okay with you. Will you be mine? Give me a hug. <laughs> what? You. What? You. Are you a big fan of me? No. Well, it is a nine today. Pretty impressive. Hopefully by Thursday I'll be a 10. Mm. I like hugging like this when I put my chest out. Here you're being it. Hmm. What's this thing? Amber like hates me. Don't worry about it. It whatever if it was between you and her and my situation, I'm sorry you did what you did or whatever. I'm sorry whatever happened because I don't want you guys to be like peeved at each other. Yeah, I said peeved. Um, but that was the word that popped into my head. There's life after this. I know it doesn't feel like it. But Not for some. For me? I'm going to the guillotine, aren't I? They told you. Not you. <laughs> you. That's why you're going to move to Minnesota. Keep a low profile. Never find me in old Minnesota. Too much snow He's going to come move out there for you. He's in love with you. No, after he sees all the solo diary rooms, I'm pretty sure. Um, 
There's gonna be a couple people who wanna associate with me after this. You're one of them. I believe it. You, your dad, Amber, maybe. Depends what all goes down. What I find out when I get home and see my Tebo. I'm joking, we don't have a Tebo. Oh, we just have a we just have a a TV with like an antenna and fucking aluminum foil. A hanger. Yep. funny because I, Nick, have never fallen this hard for somebody before. And it, and, it, and, it, eh. and then, I know we're confined in this situation, but like if I would have met you outside the house, I would have probably felt the same way. Just because you have a lot of things that are really nifty about you, and um, I'm attracted to all of them. The one thing, if we're going to make this work outside the house, is uh, the fact that you and I are both stubborn. I'm willing to take it down a couple levels if you are. Uh, I think it's the I'm fact that you ate cream cheese on your hot dog. Hmm. I'll be doing way grosser things with food when I get out of here. Just vats of chili and beer, and I'll balloon up, and I'll just sit on the couch. Because when you're pulling in a cool $3,000 a year, Shut up. you know, <laughs> no, truthfully, it'll be about, I'm going to give you a real figure just so you can kind of break it down the pros and cons of Nick. Um, we'll say 35 grand teaching if I choose to do it in Minnesota with another five to 10 grand of coaching stipend on top of it. So possible, you know, 40 to 45 grand. Do the math. Cost of living's a lot lower. Um, I'll paint a picture for you again. We could have our dream house, St. Cloud, here, 15 minutes away. Okay? Big city. Lots of things to do. Uh, down here, Minneapolis, St. Paul. I know you've heard of it. It's on the map. Uh, approximately 45, 45 minutes away. They got the Metrodome. We can go to a Twins game. We could go to the Valley Fair and ride some amusement, you know, theme rides. Um, they have theater there, super theater. Um, they have a lot of things. We have TV in Minnesota. We can watch any channel station we want. Um, Bearskin rugs. Bearskin rugs Simba. are huge. Simba's there. Baloo. I mean, just, you know, close your eyes. Close your eyes for a second. Um, I've painted this picture for you many a times, but I'm tr really trying to sell this idea. I don't need to campaign for myself inside the house, but I really need to campaign for this. Uh, Close your eyes. I mean, a picture on a, you know, magical lake, just like the ones that Bob Ross paints in his pictures. You might not know who he is, but he paints beautiful pictures. Just, you know, here it is. There's the lake. Here's my mom and dad's house. Here's our ranch. Horses. <laughs> you know? Right down here on the other acreage, that's where our house will be. Okay? Big old house. Huge cherry blossom trees popping out. You know? You know what I'm saying? Are you with me still? Big beach down here. You know, we're chilling out here. We got the grill. We got the underground stuff. You know, it's all good. And um, we have four seasons. So, I mean, the choice is yours. But remember, Minneapolis, St. Paul right there. 45 minutes away. He can find jobs everywhere. It's true. It depends what you want to do, though, because, I mean... It's no California, because uh, I know how glamour is, is, is out here, you know, G-L-A-M-O-R-O-U-S, and uh, Fergie said it best when she sang it, but Minnesota, it's good. It's right in the middle, you know, California's right over here, you know, if the ocean comes up, who's going in first? California, right? You know, you know what I'm saying? The coasts. Watch out east and west, because it's happening. But Minnesota, it's going to be there forever. Okay, that's You're a just on a roll today, aren't you? Well, I'm trying to sell this. Should be in business, but you know what? I'm not. I could have pretty much done anything with my life, but I chose to be a PE teacher. That pretty much tells you right there that I'm not in it for the money. Oh. Shut up. How many times are you going to give everyone?